Hello, Grade 3 students. How are you all doing? This is Miss Fatin again, and welcome to a new science lecture video. We are still talking about body systems. What's a body system? It is a machine that has a special and an important role in the body. And as you know, inside our bodies, there are different machines that work together to keep us alive and in a healthy style. We studied the circulatory, the respiratory, and the digestive systems, and today it's time for the muscular system. Let's go for a quick review about the first three body systems that we previously learned. Let me start with the circulatory system, which is the system that controls the movement of the blood in the body. Here it is with its center, which is the heart. The heart is a muscle found in the chest between the two lungs. The job of the heart is to push the blood inside the blood vessels. And there are two types of blood vessels. The arteries, the red blood vessels that take the blood from the heart to the body organs to provide them with oxygen and with nutrients. The veins are the blue blood vessels, and their job is to carry the blood rich in carbon dioxide back to the heart. The second body system is the respiratory system. The blood brings oxygen from the lungs, which are one of the respiratory system's parts. Here is the respiratory system. When you inhale, the air moves from the nose through the trachea and to the lungs. But when you exhale, the air moves from the lungs through the trachea and outside the body through the nose. The blood takes oxygen from the lungs, but it takes nutrients from the small intestine, which is a part of the digestive system, the system responsible of digestion of food. The digestive system consists of the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, and the large intestine. You start eating with the mouth. The teeth break down the food into smaller pieces. And then the esophagus takes the food from the mouth to the stomach. And the stomach food looks like a thick soup or a thick liquid. The small intestine is ready now with all the needed nutrients. And here the blood comes to take the small, to take the nutrients. The large intestine's job is to take water from the undigested food and throw and to get rid of the unwanted food. Before we start studying about the muscular system, I want you to try this. Stand up and sit down. Stand up and sit down. Try to do this. So you are moving, your body is moving and the system that helps you move is the muscular system so you move because of your muscles and each one of us has more than 600 muscles and we all have the same number of muscles you know that right so our muscular system is the system that helps us move and we have more than 600 muscles. Let's say you are asleep, you are sitting. Do you think there is a muscle working while you're sitting, while you're sleeping? Yes, there is, and it's the heart. The heart is a muscle found in the chest between the two lungs. This muscle pumps 
it pushes the blood so it is moving and i just said that things that move in the body are helped with muscles so muscles help us move and in the heart there is a special muscle which is the first type of muscle which is the cardiac muscle so the first type of muscles is the cardiac muscle and it is found only in the heart what does it do what does this muscle do it pushes the blood inside the blood vessels it is super strong and it works day and night do you think before um uh, the heart beats is it you who decide when the heart beats and when it stops beating no so the heart works without you thinking of it so it is an involuntary muscle again the first type of muscles is the cardiac muscle and it works involuntarily how is that we do not think before so the heart works by its own without us thinking of it it is an involuntary muscle you cannot control it can you stop it for example no you cannot so it is an involuntary muscle miss fatin what is the second type of muscles we call them the skeletal muscles look at this here are the skeletal muscles. Try to move your hands. So these uh, red parts, these are the muscles and they are connected to the bones. The bones are white. When you move your muscles, you're moving your bones. So try to move your arm the way you're singing now. So look at the screen and try to move your arm in the same way. Try to stop. You can, isn't it, right? So you control your muscles. This is a muscle and this is another one. So look at them. When the first one, when the biceps contract, the triceps relaxes. And when the biceps relaxes, the triceps contract. These muscles are connected to the bones by tendons. Let me repeat. So these are the skeletal muscles. We call them skeletal muscles because they are attached to the bones. Here is the bone. Okay, so this is a bone. And this is another one. And these are also bones. And as you can see, these muscles are connected to the bones. It's for you to decide if you want to move these bones or these muscles or to stop their movement. The muscles found in your arms have special names. This is called the biceps and this is called the triceps. When the biceps contracts, the triceps relaxes. And when the biceps relaxes, the, the triceps contracts. So they work in an opposite way. And when you move your muscles, you are moving the bones at the same time. Last thing is that these muscles are connected to your bones by tendons. Where are the tendons? Here are the tendons. Here are the tendons. In this picture, they are colored in green, and in the other one, as you can see, they are pink. So tendons connect muscles to bones. How do these muscles work? 
as I told you, it is for you to decide if you want to move your arm or to stop its movement. These muscles work when they take the order from the brain. It's the brain that send a message to the muscles to make them move, to move them. Okay, so here is the brain. The brain sends a message to the muscle to make it move. And also the brain sends a message to the muscle to stop its movement. So it is voluntary. It's optional for you to move it or to stop its movement. It is not like the cardiac muscle. The cardiac muscle is involuntary, while the skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles. The third type of muscles are the smooth muscles, and these ones are found where, look at this. They are found in your inner organs. So this is the large intestine and also the small intestine, the stomach. Look, they are moving. They are digesting the food. The food. They are getting rid of the unwanted food. So they are moving. Here we have the blood vessels. The blood is moving, is circulating inside the blood vessels. And here is the food going down the esophagus. Lots of movement in our bodies. Do you control these? No. They work by themselves without you thinking of them. So you are or they are involuntary muscles. Okay, you know now that there are three types of muscles in your body, cardiac muscle, um, skeletal muscles, and smooth muscles. The cardiac muscle and the smooth muscles are involuntary. They work without you thinking of them, while the skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles. All of these muscles make your muscular system that has more than 600 muscles. And let me tell you something. Muscles grow in size. They do not grow in number. We all have the same number of muscles. Even um, football players, sportive people, um, they practice. And when they practice, their muscles get bigger and they do not build new muscles. We all have the same number of muscles. They just grow or the muscles grow bigger and bigger when they practice. Some of your biggest and most powerful muscles are in your jaw and you use them for chewing food. Another hard and strong muscle is found in your back. It helps you to stand. The smallest muscle is called the stapedius, and it is found in your ear. The longest one is the sartorius, and it is found in the thigh. You need to know all of these names. The stapedius is the smallest. The sartorius is the longest. It is the longest muscle in your body. And you have more than 600 muscles. And we all have the same number of muscles in our bodies. We're done. How does the muscular system help us? It helps us move. Where do you have muscles? We have muscles almost everywhere, in the tongue, in the eyes, in the neck, in the back, in the stomach, in the blood vessels, in the heart, in the legs. So almost everywhere, any place that can move in your body has muscles in it and the muscles help you move. How do we build strong muscles? It's important you drink milk, you eat healthy food, you drink water, you exercise, and you sleep well. Sleeping is also essential to build strong muscles. 
how muscles are able to move the body. You know that uh, when a muscle contracts, the second one relaxes. And when you move your muscles, you are moving your uh, bones. And I'm talking here about skeletal muscles. So miss, if you still have any questions about this lesson, you can join me in the virtual office hour every Friday at 3 p.m. and every Tuesday at 6 to ask whatever you want. I love you. Stay safe and see you soon.